students, our lesson for today is solving equations transformable into quadratic equations. We're going to solve rational algebraic equations and transform it into a quadratic equation. And of course, we're going to find their roots. Let's have our example. 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2. This is a rational algebraic expression, right? How can we solve this? First, we need to write the equation. Then, multiply both sides of the equations by the least common denominator or LCD. Yes, we need to find first our LCD. So just like fractions having unlike denominators, we will get the LCD. The LCD is 4x. And we will multiply 4x to both sides of our equation. Now let's distribute 4x on the left side of the equation, then after that on the other side of our equation. We will multiply 4x to 6, that is 24x. 4x times x, that is 4x squared. And 4x times negative 3, that is negative 12x. Now, let's just copy the denominators here. Now, on the other side, we will multiply 2 and 4x. After that, reduce the left side of the equation to its simplest form. 24x over x is 24. That's 24. Then, 4x squared divided by 4, that is x squared and negative 12x divided by 4 that is negative 3x then just bring down negative or no equal to 8x next we will write the resulting quadratic equation in standard form always remember that before we can solve for the roots we need the equation written in standard form. Okay, so we will write our equation in standard form. But we have to make our equation equal to 0. So to do that, we will subtract 8x to both sides of our equation. That's why we have minus 8x here. And minus 8x in this side. Okay, remember we need to write the quadratic term or the x squared followed by the linear term. And then this one is the constant term. That's why I have 24 here. And then let's simplify negative 3x minus 8x. That is negative 11x. And we have our equation equal to 0. 8x minus 8x is 0. So this is now our standard form. Our equation is written in standard form. Therefore, we can solve now or find the roots of the resulting equation. Again, we can use any of the four methods. Extracting square roots, quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring but the easiest way to solve this is by factoring we will factor 24 what is the factor of 24 that when added the answer is negative 11 that is a negative 8 and another one is negative 3 negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24 and negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11. 
Next, we will equate these factors to 0. That is why we have x minus 8 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. After this, we can now solve for the x. Our x here is 8. Okay, applying the addition property of equality, we will add 8 to both sides. That's why we have 8. And just like on the other equation, add 3 to both sides to make this 0. And we have x is equal to 3. Or in other words, or in other way, we can just transpose to get the roots. Okay, so those are the things that we need to do in solving equations transformable into quadratic equations. Um, the first step that we did is we multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Meaning to say we have to get the LCD of the, our rational algebraic equations get their lcd and after getting the lcd multiply that lcd to both sides on the left side and on the right side of our equation then simplify after simplifying write the resulting quadratic equation in standard form always remember this make it in standard form and if your equation is written in standard form, that's the time that you will find the roots of the resolving equation and use any of the four methods. Um, which of those methods do you think is the appropriate to the given um, equation? Use that. And of course, the last thing to do is to check against the original equation. Check the root or the solution to your original equation. And that's it. Um, actually, this topic is uh, not an easy one. But I know with your patience and determination to learn, you can solve this kind of quadratic equations. Okay? And on our next lesson, we will apply these quadratic equations in solving word problems or real-life situations. So I hope that I can see you again on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye!